Hey folks, Mike here with some quick impressions on a game called Shock Rods. This is currently in a closed beta, if you will. Uh, it's closed, but anyone can sign up for it and you'll get a key for you know this weekend. So uh, if you've, of course, shopped on Green Man Gaming, who are publishers for this game, you've probably gotten an email about it as well, and a code to go ahead and load it up on Steam and give it a go. Uh, so this is developed by Stainless Games. You may have heard of them if I mention Carmageddon. Uh, and they also have had a hand in Magic the Gathering, uh, some of the video games that have come out. Um, anyways, this game is pretty self-explanatory. We'll uh, do a versus AI game and... I played the three modes already, so... We'll, uh, we'll play a CTF just because I've not played this one very long. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, if you're wondering what this game is, well, the reason your cars have funny tires is a way for them to strafe. And so... You'll know in... especially some of your old school guys. It's a very, very distinct hit sound when you hit cars. So, uh, yeah, it's basically a Quake-like game. I wouldn't really call it car comp at this point, because, well, you just happen to be driving a car, really. Uh, this is more of an arena shooter than anything else, um, with, well, what happens to be cars. Um, so, yeah, we got nice variety of weapons, you know, your basic gun, uh, grenade launcher, minigun, uh, black cannon, a heavier rocket launcher like cannon. Actually there's a rocket launcher, which is the red one. The other one is more of a kind of a logs. Uh, oh no, this is, oh yeah, I didn't mention the grenade launcher. Runs a bit of a lob shot. Boy, I have not landed any of this, there you go. Not surprised that it took ours. Uh, there are occasional power ups to be found. And beyond that, that's about it. Yeah, if you've ever played a Quake like video game, this is one of those. It's uh, very Quake like in terms of just everything about it. Uh, and, you know. It, it is a bit unique in using that that car setting. You know, it does give it something to, to differentiate it from you know, the, the sea of shooters that we have out there. Um, but, you know, it, it, at least right now, I'm not seeing it take advantage of some very unique, you know, car-like things. Oh boy. I've not played this map very much. <laughs> That's what I did for. Didn't realize there was a big opening in that area. All right. Well, we'll know next time. Uh, so yeah, so far, not a whole lot going on. Uh, you know, it's going to be hitting early access very soon, so you'll be able to. Yeah, pick it up, follow its development, if this interests you. Uh, one of the things I do find kind of neat and interesting is if you are if you are at all playing in this beta slash demo, uh, you can pre-order the game for 50% off its retail price, which it's a nice discount if you're really into it. Uh, but at the same time, and I have to wonder, you know, is, is it because they just want to try and get a lot of players in? Because this is what this game needs? Uh, or is it because they're maybe not super confident? Not too sure. I think, you know, given a bit more time, uh, this thing does have some interesting potential. Uh, but so far it feels, yeah, it feels like a, a Quake-like thing. Some neat power ups and whatnot. 
I don't know what all the power-ups do yet. Actually, maybe, uh... Oh no, I don't know. I want that flag. We also probably have to save a blue flag. No! Darn it! Okay, that works. Let's go ahead and get a goal here. Before they take our flag. Actually, okay. I don't know. I still don't know if I need to have a flag in. Um, but yeah, like your your typical uh, Quake Arena shooter. You know, you've got health, you got armor. you got, I've already mentioned the, the weapons. Uh, a lot of iconic weapons. And a couple different modes. Yeah, so far as being passable. Uh, you can see, uh, obviously, it isn't meant to be played with other players, so I'm not gonna complain too much about that. Oh, okay. Um, it is Unreal Engines. I believe I've already mentioned that. Uh, so, in terms of performance, at least for me, it is relatively straightforward. Um, they could open them up to some modding opportunities, which would be kind of interesting to, to see some of that uh, potentially happen. Oh, I'm gonna blow myself up. All right. Yep. So what happens when you land on your own mines. Not particularly good with that gun. And that's about it, really. You know, it's it plays pretty well for like if you look at what some of those guys have been developing. This this is uh, very different to the kind of stuff that they normally do, and so even for it to be okay, you know, it, it's quite impressive. You're not gonna get yeah, you know, you're not gonna get an okay game in a, a very different genre from any developer. So, you know, these guys clearly do have a uh, decent idea of where they want to go, what this game needs. Um, and, of course, they've probably played this kind of game before. Hey, this guy might kill me. Ah, uh, well, that's like. Anyways, I think that's about it. I'm not gonna linger on for too much longer here. Uh, so like I said, this game's called Shock Rods. Maybe not the best name to give it, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, should be hitting early access very soon. It'll probably hit another open beta soon-ish. Uh, by the time you guys watch this, of course, the the beta that I'm currently playing on. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, the, the beta that I'm currently playing on will probably be over by the time this video gets uploaded and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, with that said, this is Mike here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.